This is Coogan Cassis for IFL TV. We're at the Grove and the Casino here in Bayswater uh, for the press conference for Dennis Hobson in association with Queensbury um, to announce Stuart Hall versus Lucy Malinga. That's so, correct. George, just tell us about how this happened. It seems to have happened very quickly since Jamie McDonald was stripped of the IBF title. Now it's been announced that Stuart will fight Mr Malinga. Um, how did it happen? Uh Dennis and I have been talking for a while since uh, Julio Cesar, Jamie McDonald fought about trying to do something, trying to do something on the channel, uh, working together. We'd reached an agreement for Vuzi uh, Malinga to come over and fight Jamie McDonald. Box Nation were going to cover it. It would be a co-promotion with Queensbury. Dennis has then since obviously had, uh, had the issues with Jamie, where Jamie has, uh, in Dennis's opinion wrongfully terminated his agreement. Uh, Dennis is obviously going through the uh, the process of that at the moment with the board. Um, I think complaints have gone in against uh, both Jamie McDonald and Eddie Hearn. Um, in the interim period, the IBF have stripped Jamie. There was an opportunity that Dennis felt that he couldn't not, not take advantage of for his man, Stewie Hall. Stewie and Vuzi were then uh, approved for the vacant IBF title. Dennis and I sat back down again and we reached a deal and I'm delighted about it. You know, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a great opportunity for Stewie. It's world title action involving British fighters in the UK, prime time on Box Nation. So made sense. It's great for Queensbury to be involved. It's great for me personally to be involved and so far so good. We'll see how it goes though. So um, issues aside, obviously, the bottom line is we've got a, a world title fight in this country yeah. in a venue that hasn't hosted a boxing fight before. So it'll be the first one in Leeds. So uh, it's all positive. Frankie Gavin on the bill as well. Yes, Frankie's on the bill. He will be lo most likely defending his Commonwealth title. We're struggling at the moment to find a British opponent for him. So he's obviously won that outright. So I don't think Frankie's too fussed whether he fights for that again. Uh, there is an opportunity maybe for an intercontinental fight instead to just help his rankings. But we'll make that decision, uh, take on board what Frankie and Tom, his trainer, want to do as well. And we'll get, an, we'll get an announcement about an opponent out as soon as possible. Regarding the uh, arena, I personally haven't been up there, but what I've heard is it's fantastic. Um, you know, better, better than... Uh, a lot of stuff going on at the moment in some of the arenas. It's brand new, um, similar to kind of how we feel we are at the moment with the Copper Box. You know, working in a brand new arena was great production facilities. I think the channel were delighted to be going there. And fingers crossed, this is the start of something that, you know, boxing can build in Yorkshire and Leeds can start to become a real home of uh, and a hotbed of boxing. So I understand this is a, a Dennis Hobson promotion in association with Queensbury, but. I'm yes. anticipating there'll be a lot of your fighters on the bill as well. Yeah, uh, the, the show will be a mixture of Dennis's fighters and some of our guys. Um, we'll be making, obviously this has kind of come around the date and everything and the fact that it's so close to Christmas. Um, we haven't internally discussed what Queensby fighters are going to go on. But you're looking at probably, a, you know, three to four, maybe even five Queensby fighters on this bill. That's what we're hoping to do. Well, how much of an issue was that actually putting it four days before Christmas with obviously, you know, the UK storm just hit us, yeah. hit our pockets just. <laughs> I don't know about that. It took my, it took my, um, my electricity out all day. It took my water for two hours, the crucial two hours when I was up getting ready to yeah, go out. Did you have soap, soap in your uh, hair? There's an old bird that lives across the road, so we just walked over to hers and had a bath there. Nice, nice. Um, no, uh, listen, the, the channel were... They, you know, I, I was quite determined to try and deliver this opportunity um, and get it in the UK. We've got events on the 30th and the 7th, and um, I think they were struggling to find a date on the 14th um, of December. So the 21st was available. Um, Dennis and Asif are the guy that is there. It's their show in terms of the ticket sales. It's up to them to sell their tickets. They're confident that they can do that. From the channel's perspective and from our perspective um, in Queensbury, it was just important to get some of our guys on the bill, and uh, we can we will see if it works. The 21st, it is near Christmas. Hopefully, uh, people will go out and support, and they'll pack pack out the arena. And the guys that don't get tickets uh, that still want to catch the action will hopefully be sitting in and watching the channel on Saturday night. We know you obviously have a lot of involvement with uh, what fights, overseas fights we see on Box Nation. So what can you tell us, obviously, with just 
fresh from Hopkins and Quillin and uh, Wild over the weekend. So anything potentially coming up between now and the rest of the year? Yeah, a lot of stuff. Uh, we'll be making uh, an announcement soon about the upcoming Golden Boy shows. I'm working on that at the moment. They they will be part of our schedule, put it that way. And uh, when, when, we, when we can officially announce that, I'll let you guys know. We have, as well, just done the deal for the Manny Pacquiao, Brown and Rios fight from Macau in China, which we're, we're thrilled about. Um, we've never done a Pacquiao fight, so it'll be interesting to see how you know our subscribers take to it, whether they're, they're as interested as uh, we anticipate they are to see that fight. I think it's a cracking fight. It'll be interesting to see how Manny comes back, and uh, it's, it's a great fight for us to have in November. All right, that's very exciting and very good to know that. Um, all right, George, thank you very much for talking to IFL TV. Um, your baby all right? Yeah, he's two and two months now. He's, he's, I was, uh, I'm, hence my bags under my eyes. He's not sleeping at the moment. He's not sleeping too well. His back teeth are coming through, so I'm up, up with the missus trying to get him back down. Right. Yeah, he's good. Well, yeah. Welcome to fatherhood. Not that I'm in it yet. Yeah, but, um, two years of it. I'm knackered. <laughs> right, it's it's harder than this, I'm telling you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is Coon Cassis with George Warren here um, at the Grove and the Casino in Bayswater. Thank you very much. Thank you.